everybody, welcome to Phaser Friday. Today we're gonna to be looking at a waterfall effect or a fly out, depending on which way you want to run it. And yeah, let's create this together. Okay, so in the software, I'm going to start by grabbing my spots created group and I'm going to put them at full and I'm going to tilt them all the way up to the sky. So this is going to be the top of my effect here. And then step two, I'm gonna put them at zero, but I like to turn on single step when I'm working with positions because then I don't have to see them running while I'm trying to create the second step. So I'm gonna put them down here. This is gonna be the end of my effect. And I'm gonna put the dimmer at zero. So turning single step back on, I can see it start to run. I personally like to use the 1D view when I'm making phasers like this because now I can easily see what is happening with the different attributes. So I can see how dimmer is relating to position and tilt. Now, I don't actually need a pan for this phaser, so I'm actually going to off the pan. Let's type off here and then tap on pan. Now we're just looking at uh, dimmer and tilt to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Now the first thing I do pretty much when I'm making any phaser is I like to go turn on measure. If you're not familiar with measure, don't worry, I'll have some videos on that real soon. But for this video itself, I'm going to put measure at two. And there we go. So measure is at two, speed stayed the same. And I can see it happen for tilt and dimmer because of the app filter being on. It's only affecting the uh, phaser values that we're working with. Okay, so now that this is done, it's a little easier to move the width around of different steps, which is what we're gonna be doing here. So what needs to happen is this dimmer needs to go all the way up and it needs to fade out before the light actually moves back into the position because that's what we get the kind of like magical, like, oh, it's only going up. So I'm going to stay here in step one and I'm gonna stay in dimmer. I'm gonna to go to phaser steps and then width. And so in step one, I'm gonna move the width over. Oh, haha, I do this all the time. I need to turn off the app filter and go back to single so I'm only affecting dimmer when I do this. There we go. Now that I'm only affecting dimmer, I can move it so that the dimmer is flying all the way up. And then in step two, we're going to go to the transition and we're going to bring it down. Now, I just feel like this is a great example of how to like do any type of phase you're trying to do where the attributes are working together. Now you'll see it's still a little bit like eh, a little wonky. Uh, this is because I like to double tap sync. It kind of like puts everything back into sync when I'm working with stuff in the programmer. It's also running a little faster than the lights can physically do. And so I'm gonna to go to a matrix here and I'm just gonna set the speed to 10 just so that it's running at a more reasonable rate for the fixtures themselves. Uh, anyway, so step two, you can see they're off for a really long time. Maybe that's not what I want. So this is when I would go turn that app filter back on. I'm gonna go into phaser steps and then width and then I'm actually going to shrink the width of step two down so that there's a little less time that they're off. Now I can see when I did that, this transition here, the transition width relationship uh, between the dimmer and the tilt, I still need to move this dimmer over. And so I'm gonna go back to step one, go back to single and just move this over here. So now it's fading off before it moves back. And there we go, and it's a little too slow. So let's actually speed this up. Maybe like 20 would be more reasonable. There we go. And there, now I've created a flyout. And so this, without any phase or anything, it was a really good way to just kind of make a template phaser. So if I store this, it can store universally. So I could actually grab any fixture in the rig and it would do these same values where they fly up. And now this is where the fun happens. I get to maybe add some phase in, maybe shuffle it because you know everyone likes a good shuffle. And there we go, it's time to start programming our song. <laughs> 